Hello, my name is Kari Barclay, and I'm a playwright, director, and educator based in Cleveland, Ohio. The play that I wrote is called Pacific, and it's based on an experience of being in California during the wildfires of 2020. And so I started writing a play asking a question, how do we take care of each other when it feels like it's the end of the world? And so the whole play is based on a quote by Tennessee Williams. Um, we live in a constantly burning building, and the task before us is to save love. So I'm tracking the life of a queer couple across 50 years in their life um, as they're facing an evacuation order in 2020, going through things um, within their house that they're wondering, what do we save and what do we leave behind? How do we save love as a couple? So this was the, the script that I wrote when I was here. Um, it's a mix of handwritten pages, because I didn't have a laptop with me, and stuff that I had pre-printed that I'd written before oh, in yeah. the process of editing the work that I created during my time here. And now that I have the full draft, I've actually been able to talk to people about it, have a real vision, and I've gotten some very enthusiastic responses. So I was talking to one of my friends in New York, who coincidence, coincidentally, his parents happened to work uh, as foresters, so managing forests, um, and so, because the play deals with the wildfires, I was invited to present at the National Convention for American Foresters uh, to talk about theater and forestry and how we might actually be able to use performance in this play to educate the general public about the cycles of fire and nature and just about how fire and forestry kind of work together um, to create sustainable ecosystems in the American West. One of the things I really appreciated about Stone and Sky was the chance to be in community and to be with other artists. So it was great to be here with another artist, Evangeline, who did amazing work around dye work in the Oneida tradition, as well as just to, whenever I was stuck or frustrated in my writing, being able to come out of the tiny house and uh, get to talk to Trevor and Patricia, um, sit around a fire and interact with folks. And even though we were out here removed in nature, being around other folks who gave me the inspiration um, was one of the key parts of the residency.